Good morning. Today is Wednesday morning, June 10th. A joy to welcome you to our daily devotions. And I am dressed in a tie for the first time on these devotions. Today, I have a funeral at 10 a.m. this morning for Nancy Cooper. Nancy passed away about 10 days ago or so, and I will be at the funeral home this morning. Bob and the immediate family, some of the immediate family, will be at the funeral home. And if you have a Zoom account, you may go online to the probably the NHRC Facebook page or the um, prayer chain and find out the Zoom account so that you can participate in this morning's uh, funeral by joining us on Zoom. Bob and Nancy were married for 60 years this past April, and so our condolences uh, to Bob and, and family, and if you would like to send a card to Bob Cooper, you could do so. His uh, name and direct, his dress, address is in the directory. And so uh, today, <clears throat> I want to change the directions and change the focus of today's message. I want to make it a brief message to congratulate all of our young people who are graduating from any of the many schools around here. I'm going to tell a little story about a, a commencement tradition. Harvard University, the senior class chapel, they graduated and every morning during the graduation ceremony on that June, May morning, seniors would gather in the memorial church to hear the minister offer words of hope and encouragement as the seniors prepare to graduate. And so the 2000 senior class heard the great truth from the Reverend Dr. Peter Gnomes. Peter Gnomes was a well-known pastor and minister at Harvard and the author of several books. In his gentle, ringing tones, the very unique and well-loved religious professor, Dr. Gnomes, laid it out to the seniors as he began with these words. Graduating class of 2000, you're going to be sent out of here for good, and most of you aren't ready to go. The president is about to bid you into the fellowship of educated men and women. And, and here he paused and spoke each word slowly for emphasis, you know just how dumb you are. The senior class cheered in agreement. And then he said, worse than that, the world and your parents in particular are going to expect that you will be among the brightest and best. But you know that you can no longer fool all of the people, even some of the time. By noontime today, you will be out of here. By tomorrow, you will be history. And by Saturday, you will be toast. That's fact. No exceptions, no extensions. And then he said, these words. Nevertheless, nevertheless, there is reason to hope. The future is God's gift to you. God will not let you stumble or fall. God has not brought you this far to this place to abandon you or leave you here alone and afraid. The God of Israel never stumbles, never sleeps, never goes on sabbatical. Thus, my beloved and bewildered young friends, do not be afraid. I love that story, and it's very appropriate for what we're going through right now. So I want to congratulate all of our graduates, those from the nursery school graduation that didn't happen but happened on Facebook, through grade school, middle school, high school, and college, well done, all of you good and faithful servants. You have done well and will be moving on come September. And so enjoy the summer. Many of you already graduated in May, and I know graduations have been taking place now in June. So with that, I conclude with prayer for these devotions, and I will prepare myself for the funeral this morning for Nancy Cooper. Let us pray. And thank you, Lord. Thank you for our children. Thank you, Lord, for graduation ceremonies. They have not happened the way they should, but we know, Lord, that you are with each one of us, giving us hope 
and faith and courage and reminding us, Lord, not to be afraid, but to go forth this day with your peace and your love, knowing, Lord, that you are working things through. Bless us now in Christ Jesus' name we pray and everyone said together, Amen. Enjoy the rest of the day and we will see you tomorrow morning. Thank you.